Finding a plugin in Logic Pro can sometimes feel like finding a needle in a haystack. And even if you know what plugin you're looking for, diving into menu after menu, it just takes time and just plain sucks. Other doors like Ableton, they have these great search features. So why can't Logic? It just feels like Logic Pro has a bit of a nightmare when it comes to plugin management. Well, you've just stumbled on a solution. This affordable plugin, which has added a bunch more features recently, changes the game for Logic Pro users and will have you searching for plugins and speeding up your workflow in no time. Hey, my name is Steve and welcome back to Command Shift New. Choosing a door that's right for you is entirely based on what you want out of a door, what it can offer you and what cool features you would like to have. It's a unique and entirely individual choice that really only you can answer for yourself. And you may find yourself using one door exclusively or a number of doors across your lifetime or all at once. However, every door, no matter what door it is, has that little thing sometimes that's just plain annoying that you wish would be just improved or fixed or something new added to kind of make it better. And I think one of those things for Logic Pro is definitely plugin management. And if you've used Logic Pro, you probably know what I'm talking about. It does have a plugin manager, a sort of window where you can add folders and subfolders and add your favorite plugins to a favorites folder if you wanted to, or update the EQ with your favorite EQ plugins. But this system is entirely manual and it's something that you have to stay on top of you have to set up and you have to maintain every time you buy a new plugin, which for me is like all of the time. If you don't keep on top of this, then you gotta go diving into the audio plugins folder, into the particular publisher for that plugin, and then find the plugin name that you're after, which just takes time. But I wanna do things instantly. I don't want a wall between me and the creative process that I'm trying to achieve. Things like that, that just unnecessarily slow you down is just something you need to eliminate in the creative process. Luckily, third-party apps often come to the rescue. Plug Search 3 by Speaker Food is one such app that is an absolute essential in my opinion. It allows you to search for plugins by text via keyboard commands and shortcuts with automatic filtering systems that can easily get you down to exactly what you want. You can search for a plugin or you can see all the plugins that might be under that category or that brand. And now with some new features, you can even add brand new tracks based on the instrument or plugin that you're loading up. That's because version 3.2 has just been released with a bunch more features and it's absolutely the fantastic time for me to talk about why I find this app so damn useful. This isn't a sponsored video in any kind of way, it's just me enjoying this plugin and hoping that you'll get something out of it too. So let's dive in and check out how I use this plugin and all of the tips are gonna be super useful right down to the last one. So Plug Search 3 can be downloaded directly from Speaker Food's website. You can buy it through them directly. Make sure when you are installing it for the first time, you are following their installation setup sort of procedures because there is a particular way that you have to install everything to make sure it reads all of the plugins in Logic in your setup. It's something that you just have to do the first time that you install it. And then every time after that, any new plugins that you install is gonna be read by Speaker Food's plug search. Once you have it set up though, here's what you can do with it. Now you're probably familiar with the way that Logic normally loads a plugin in, you click on say an audio effects slot on an audio track and you have a menu and you know you've got some recent ones that you've recently loaded which can be familiar but otherwise you're really kind of limited to just the ones that you've created or Logic has created for you and if you're trying to find a third party plugin you have to go to audio units you have to go through to the particular one that you can find maybe like waves down here and then scroll through a list looking for a particular plugin an absolute nightmare if you've got loads of plugins and you're not sure where all of your compressor plugins are across all of these different companies perhaps I have too many plugins and that's why I have this issue so often but you know I'd like to be able to see what companies have what type of plugins and what I might have got that I've just completely forgotten about in recent years so instead of clicking in this audio effects I can with plug search enabled tap the control key on my keyboard and up comes the plug search search menu, which makes it so much easier. So if I'm looking for a Wave CLA 2A plugin, I can just type in CLA 2A and up comes the plugin itself. If I just hit enter, it'll insert the plugin in and bring it up ready for me to use and edit on that track. This is absolutely incredible just by itself and well worth every penny just for that feature, in my opinion anyway. So you can keep adding more plugins if you wanted a reverb after that. I could search reverb and I can either look through all the plugins that have the reverb already in the name or I can go into the reverb category, hit enter into there and see all the plugins that I have that are to do with reverb. Searching both Logic ones as well as Sound Toys, Valhalla, Waves, like anything that I've got. So something like Valhalla Room doesn't have reverb in the name but it does have reverb as the category. So I can hit enter and up comes the plugin. Searching by categories is absolutely fantastic because then you can see exactly what you've got across all the different companies. 
But if you want something from a particular company, you know the plugin is in there and you wanna just see what options you got with that particular tool set, you can do that as well. Let me hit control again and I can tab over using the tab key to favorites, which I haven't got any loaded up at the moment, all plugins. And then in here, I've got my categories and my companies. And through here, I could go into something like Atura plugins, for example. And when I go in there, these are all the plugins that I've got available from that company. If I wanted to, I can start any of those and then they would appear in my favorites tab. Really, really awesome. But here's where it steps it up a little bit with the latest updates. Before, you couldn't add anything between here, which was really annoying because normally if you click it in between and you add a plugin in between, it would just add it between those two. Pretty self-explanatory. I said the word between quite a lot there. I'm sorry for that. But now we can do that with Plug Search. If I just tap Control while I'm hovering over these two options, there it comes up. That before wouldn't have been able to work. That's something that's new in 3.2. So I could easily come down here and find say saturation knob and add that in. And you can see it's added it there in the middle between the two compressors. Now before as well, if I wanted to replace something, I'd have to remove it first, then go and use the search tool to replace it. I could do that now in one swift motion. If I tap control key on the saturation knob, maybe that's not quite the saturation I'm looking for. Just tap the control key. And now I'm hot swapping in a way the particular plugins. Hot swapping a bit of an Ableton term there, but it's it's following the same principle. So I could search for saturation, for example, jump into my category, take a look, and I don't know, maybe pop in Decapitator. There it goes, replacing the saturation knob with Decapitator, a different flavor of saturation for me. I can still remove a plugin if I just want to completely remove it. And that would just be done by highlighting the one I want to remove and tapping the command key to easily take that plugin out and return it back to a vacant spot. Here's where it gets exciting. I've been using the mouse to kind of target exactly where I want that plugin to be added, which, you know, means I'm using my mouse a lot, but I don't have to use the mouse. I can pull up the search menu anywhere I like into a floating window now with 3.2. If I just type command P, it brings up this floating window, which I can use to search exactly in the same way I was just doing before, but it's now gonna throw it into the first available audio effects slot. So if I'm replacing the audio effects that I removed recently with a different type of distortion, maybe this one I can see in the list here from Atura, which is the uh, Cold Flyer plugin, I can hit enter and it's gonna throw that plugin straight into the gap that I left before. If I wanted to add something to the end of this, I could do the same again, command P and I could add something else. Let's say another compressor, shall we? And it's just thrown it into the bottom and the first available slot. So you don't even have to use the mouse. It's fully keyboard shortcutted now, which is fantastic. As someone who enjoys using keyboard shortcuts, cuts and the speed of keyboard shortcuts, this is absolute magic. But this last trick has really helped me specifically as a composer who uses a lot of virtual instruments. Loading up a virtual instrument is usually a pretty time consuming thing. If I was using a keyboard shortcut, I could go command option N on my keyboard and bring up the option to go to a software instrument. And you can see that I've selected from this instrument details, contact seven, because I tend to use a lot of contact based instruments. This is often why in the past, I've kind of preferred contact based libraries when I'm buying them because then I can always create a new track with contact and just load up whatever library I want inside it. It was more convenient than using dedicated plugins like the ones from Spitfire, for example. But contact has its limitations and new plugins kind of create some really cool stuff. So I wanna be able to work across lots of different plugins and not just limit myself down to contact libraries. This would take a long time to kind of go in and find, you know, I'm right back to exactly the problem that I had before. So if I wanted to use some contact libraries and some Spitfire libraries and some East West libraries, all together, I would be just taking a long time to create these tracks. Not anymore with Plug Search latest updates. It is fantastic. At the moment, I've just got one audio track, but let me bring up my plugin search and I'm going to search for contact. I'm going to just load up contact seven. If I just purely hit enter on contact seven, it is going to load up a new software instrument with contact seven ready to go in there. So I'll hit enter and we can see a new track being created. Contact is popping up and now I'm ready to go. I can go find whatever library I wanted to add in and be playing it in no time. That is magic. I love that so much. Like that is just fantastic. It's something that I easily do in Ableton when I work with Ableton, just using the command F to search and, you know, throw a plugin into a track. This brings that functionality across to Logic, which is fantastic. Now, for instance, if I want to use Spitfire's BBC Orchestra, I don't have to go through that manual process of adding it in with a menu, which is just horrendously slow. I can bring back up plug search, find BBC, hit enter, and be working with BBC's string library in no time. That is such a time saver I cannot express. And you could do that with keyboards or you could do a drag and drop method as well. And in fact, you can drag any plugin anywhere from that pop-up menu. If I hit Command P, 
I could grab a contact instance and just drag it anywhere below here and it will create a new track and I can load up contact with whatever I want. If I wanted some compression on that track, I could bring up my plug search again, look for compression, maybe jump into the compressor category, find the supercharger from Native Instruments and just drag that wherever I want, which includes onto that track. So I can use drag and drop method as well if you're more of a kind of mouse type of person. So that's how plug search works and I really hope it helps you out just as much as it's helped me out. If you're looking for Logic Pro tips or software reviews or even tutorials, this channel is a fantastic resource for that. So why not subscribe because there's already a load of videos that you can dive in and check out on the homepage. But otherwise, I will catch you in the next one. Thank you.